I looked online to find how to build a biofilter and they were so screwed up the video. So I'm gonna show you how, in a few minutes, how simple it is. I took a brute trash can. This is my infeed from my lower pond. It's gonna feed up in a black line. I'll show you exactly what that looks like in a minute. It flows up through here. It flows out that one and flows out that one. Creates a little bit of a cyclonic action. Then I took this uh, bucket, which is from a plant, cut that out right there. And you see how that's gonna go on there like that. Then I'm gonna put rocks all around this, big rocks, little rocks, and then sponges. I have lots of sponges to create the bio thing. And then it will flow out through here onto a big boulder. You won't see any of this. It'll be all beautifully decorated rocks all around it. The cool thing that I did was this. This is a drain. So all the muck that builds up there, this line is the inflow on my water pump. I have a small little gas powered water pump. I'm gonna bury that. And then I hook it up to my water pump and I just suck all the sludge out whenever I feel like I need to. So simple, so easy. And then again, this is the outflow. I did that at ABS. So now I'm gonna install it. Okay, so this is the pond and water feature we're building. And this is where the natural spring comes up. And this is where we're putting it all in. So the next, I put a little pond foam around that joint down there because it's just two compressed two inch PVC pipe together. It's really tight, but the foam will strengthen it. And then I'm gonna put this on right now. So that will go on there like that. And then I'll probably put a little bit more foam in there just to secure this all together. And then I'll hook up the pipe. I just shot a little more foam in there. See, it's expanding. Now I'm gonna hook up the pipe. We have a pump down here in the lower one. We ran a black line all the way up, a water line, inch and a quarter, right here. We'll bury all this. It will feed from the bottom, go up through all the membrane material, do its little cyclonic thing, and then bleed through here. Then when we need to pump the system because it's too full of muck, we have a permanent line in that goes up over here. We'll hook a pump up and then we'll spray it out over the lawn and use it for organic fertilizer. Oh, no. Then we put our foam on top. And it'll look gorgeous. Okay, so there it goes. We got it going in our, in our sponges coming out and I'm going to put the lid back on. Wow. It worked just like we wanted it to. Amazing. Okay. That's how to build a biofilter. Fast and easy. <laughs> so here it all is. It's all done and buried. Not completely. We'll put a little bit more around it. But that's our work today. We have a beautiful biofilter for our soon-to-be koi pond.